Hey, what's up, YouTube fam? This your boy, Ray Mac. What we're going to do today is some old classic, plain Jane French toast, all right? I'm going to give it to you the way that I should give it to you, old-fashioned Ray Mac style, all right? So the first thing that we got, I'm going to break down these ingredients. I got four slices of bread. I got some sugar. I wanted to use some brown sugar, but if you want to use brown sugar, go ahead and use it. I got some milk, and I have some... um maple syrup along with that i got some ground cinnamon some nutmeg and some vanilla flavoring with some um unsalted butter and two eggs all right so this is ray max old-fashioned version and i'm on my cell phone y'all i'm recording this on my cell phone so let's go ahead and get into this here video yes sir let's do it okay youtube family this is what we're gonna do we're gonna take this container and we're gonna just Plop in our sugar. I ain't gonna use as much sugar, y'all. You know what I'm saying? You can use as much as you want, less as you want, or whatever. It all depends on how sweet you want your um your French toast. I just love some good tasting French toast. So I'm gonna try my best to leave you some measurements for this right here below, or whatever the case may be. So now I got me some um cinnamon, all right, ground cinnamon. Just wanna put a little something in that. That might be a little too much for some of y'all, but I told y'all I love this, man. So, then we got us some nutmeg, all right? Put a little nutmeg in there. And now what I want to do, just want to mix this up. And I right, get the cinnamon and sugar and stuff mixed up. All right, we good on that. We're going to set this to the side. So we got our milk, just going to pour that in, and like I said, I'm only doing four, and then I'm just going to take the mixture of the cinnamon sugar, the nutmeg, toss it on up in there, and I just want to whisk it, whisk this together. Sorry about the shaking of the camera, y'all. Told y'all this is this is old school Ray McKay right here. Ray Mac. Old school Ray Mac. This is your classic Ray Max video right here, y'all. So what I'm gonna do is take some of this vanilla flavor and just put about a good drop in that. Ooh, that's like a lot. I know y'all are saying, man, is he mad crazy with that? So I'm gonna take my two eggs and Crack these up in here. I'm shaking the camera again. All right. Now, if you want to use another egg or so, go ahead. Be my guest. But like I said, I'm going to try to give you some measurements below that you can go by. All right. And I'll probably end up putting one more egg. So I'm going to mix this up. All right. So we're gonna heat this skillet up and go from there. Let's do it. All right, we got our stove heating up, our skillet heated up a little bit. We're gonna go ahead and drop us some butter in here. All right, and get that moving around. While that's going, what I'm gonna end up doing, is taking two slices of the bread, dipping it into the egg mixture, okay? I'm gonna dip it right into this. And then I'm gonna take it and flop it. Take me the other slice. You gotta hurry up and do this. You don't want your bread to be soggy. And hit it off in that. Just let me hit that bug. The smell in here, y'all, is freaking amazing. Love it. So now I'm just trying to move it around and get it all up in that butter that's left. And when it's like that, all you have to do is add you a little bit more butter. 
just so you can get that other side ground up just a little bit. And move it around. Move your toast around. Don't be scared. side is nice and good now what I like doing is I move it to a wire rack okay because I want it to cool down before I put it on the to a plate see just like that okay y'all this is what I like doing after I let it cool down off that cooling rack stack them all up I mean, it smells good, y'all. That's why you can't over-soak these things because if you do, they'll be soggy. All right, once I got them stacked up, mm, let my knife slide to the side. Just go ahead and hit them off. All right, move that to the side. Let's plate them up. Get my plate out. Go ahead and plate these babies up the way you want to plate them. I don't care how you plate them. I'm plating them because I'm going to eat the crap out of them, y'all. I'm going to eat the crap out of them. Yes. Yes. Serve these up for breakfast. However you want. You know what I'm saying? And then, take me about a couple dollars of butter. Put them on there. And once that butter's on now, so this is what y'all could do. You can go ahead, man, and put you some um, confectionery sugar on that if you want. But with me, I don't need that. I'm just gonna take me a fork, dig into these, and then join. All right. So try this recipe. Let me know if you like it. I guarantee you, man, your tongue will thank you. All right, so this your boy, Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. I want to say, hit that subscribe button. Peace, y'all. I want to say thank you so much for checking out Ray Max Kitchen and Grill. Please, pretty please, check out these here videos. I guarantee you, if you love soul food cooking, you will love these videos right here. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Love and not hate. Love somebody and hate nobody. Peace.